Hi, I'm Dean Regas, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory and co-host of PBS's bite-sized astronomy program, Stargazers. I'm here to talk to you about dark skies and light pollution. Around here, this is kind of a big issue because I grew up in a city, I live in a city, and like about 80% of the world's population, I cannot see the Milky Way in the night sky. This is very sad. I cry about this all the time. I want to go outside and I want to see thousands of stars in the sky. I want to see like they did in the old days where the Milky Way would stretch from one side of the sky to the other with all the billions and billions of stars in our galaxy. And this is kind of a big deal to me. I even use this as an excuse when I go on vacations. Like when I go out to parks, I want to go see mountains and rivers and waterfalls and oceans, but I also want to go somewhere where there's a dark sky and see the Milky Way up there because around Cincinnati, I hardly see this at all. The only Milky Way I see is made of chocolate and nougat. I'm a huge supporter of the International Dark Sky Association or the IDA, and their mission is to educate people about light pollution and preserving dark skies. They're really good at convincing people. In fact, like they're really good at convincing mayors and legislatures to pass laws to limit light pollution. And it's working. There's lots of these dark sky sites around the country. And if you get designated a dark sky site, whew, man, you have made it because that is the place to go to see a lot of stars. Now you can find out more if you go to darksky.org and check out their website. They can let you know about some projects that are going on. And we'd love to have your support too because you can make a huge difference in preserving the night sky.